Hatid mga kuya, we are here in Caledonia today dahil merong event si uh, it's, it's a business thing like real estate, financing and all of that stuff and uh, we're gonna go around and actually I'm gonna go around I'm gonna show you some houses so guys, three houses 1.1 million, 900,000, 900,000. Which one do you guys want? We're gonna go for a tour. Like I said, guys, we are in Caledonia, Ontario, Canada. There's a, an event right now uh, where local businesses, including the builder of all of these homes that you see in the subdivision called Empire Homes, uh, they're promoting the brand and they're promoting the community and hopefully people will buy. This is a brand new subdivision in Caledonia, Ontario, by the way, guys. This is probably less than two years old. All the houses here range anywhere between $650,000 to $1.4 million. We were invited by the builder to help launch the community. That's why we are here today. Look at these guys. Look at these houses over here. I'm buying all of them. <laughs> no, I'm not. This is the Sumac, uh, I think that's what they call it. It's 1,893 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Let's go inside. My buddy Dennis here and his daughter. Oh, look at this. Just leave them on, Dennis, it's okay. So this is the entranceway, very nice. Double doors. You know what, I gotta check out. The bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Always. Is it is it a good size? Not so me. this is supposed to be a one and a half or a double? That's one and a half. Is one and a half, right? Yeah. That's one and a half. You know, I like the fact that they don't have the motor in the middle anymore. Well, this one doesn't have a motor on it, but... Oh, because uh, the last house that we looked at, the motor's on the side. Yeah, you, you got the motor on the side, yeah. which is great. <clears throat> the kitchen's nice. So guys, this is the kitchen and living room combo. It's very bright. Double sink. What do you think, Dennis? Through these other homes, I'm not keen on them. You're not keen on them? I just don't like, well, this one's not too bad, but I didn't like the fact that you walk down a hallway and come yeah, in the back of your house. Uh huh. Like it was just, it's all garage on the one side, and then you just got a hallway to come out here. That's right. What do you think about the size? Depends on what the price is. Well, typically, a house like this is like, you said it's like eight fifty, nine hundred thousand. dollars 900000 You know, Paul, this is just. Oh, look who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what these are going for. That's the thing. But typically, Dennis, the, this house is similar to the ones they're in the all, back right they're now, all right? The same. They're all basically they're the all same. They're all basically the same. And these run for 850, 900,000? I think they're on that. I'm not sure. Right. Leia, how do you like this house? Ah! <laughs> I don't know, after having what I've got, uh -huh. I don't know if I can move into one of these. Let's go, let's go look around. Let's go check your bedroom. <laughs> Daddy's gonna buy this for you. And you can move out. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> it. Hang on, Mark. Let's check the basement. Oh, let's go check the basement, yeah. I'll see how big it is. See, I would assume it's not this, finished. This is the other thing. Like, I like the fact mine's just straight down into the basement. Oh, you don't like the curve, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah. can't really bring much down, right? It's downstairs. Oh, it goes this way. Yeah, that's... So this door... So the stairs, that's probably a cold cellar. It's a cold cellar, you're right. Hey, Dennis, can you turn a cold cellar into a bathroom? 
why not? You could, right? Because there's a drain on the floor. Yeah. Okay. I don't see why not. Because, I mean, this would be more useful if it was a, a bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So you just basically insulate it and then put yeah. your plumbing in, right? Yeah. Okay. It's only cold though because the door's really... Well, actually, that's a... I don't know if that's outside. This is but a metal door. No. It's yeah, no, it's metal. It's, is it well, metal? It's this insulated door. Uh, it's a good size. It's not bad. But... Okay, we'll go up. Yeah. So all of these houses, I'm assuming the basements are not done, right? No. They have to let it sit for a little bit. Why don't they... Let's go upstairs. Let's go. I don't know, it's not somebody letting it sit, it's cost-wise, they're not, not going to do the Because I noticed a lot of the new houses, like also the new built them, houses. With them finishing the basement, then the property taxes go up on the house. So, if you build it after, if you, do, you does that mean you have to claim it? You have to let the city know that you did it? They want you to tell them. But you don't have to. <laughs> How do I say it? They want you to tell them. But you don't have to. I would, yeah, I wouldn't. You wouldn't have to, but they charge you for the square footage for what's finished. In the house. Of course, yeah, like livable space. Yeah, so now once you finish the basement, they'll charge you more in taxes like that. Like I built my deck. Yeah. It's a freestanding deck. They charge me more taxes for that deck. Because you told the city that you built it. Because I had to have permit. Ah. I went. Only reason why I did a permit because I didn't want to get in trouble and have one of the neighbors ride out on me. How are your neighbors? Oh, neighbors yeah. like you? No, they're great. They're great people. But at the time, you don't know, right? Yeah. This is the bathroom. It's a little narrow, but it's good. <clears throat> standard toilet, standard tub. Hi, sorry. Master bedroom. It features a very nice focal wall. I think that's what they call it. Carpet. It fits uh, a queen bed with two side tables. And it has a door that goes to closet. The bathroom? No. Oh, bathroom's over here. So it does have, oh, I mean, it's, non-suite. yeah, it's got a non-suite, it's good. I mean, most master bedrooms now got en-suites, right? Yeah. So this is the en-suite. Standard walk-in shower. Stand-up shower. Yeah, they can. I'll make the walk in here. It's 1,800 square feet, so... I mean, compared to Brentwood, this is huge. Are they classed in the basement as 1800? Well, you can't really count the basement because it's not finished, right? This is the second bedroom. They're using it as a sitting room for now, but it'll easily accommodate and fit. So comfy! Comfy! <laughs> Fit a bed, standard closet. Yeah, see, your home is all open concept too, isn't it? You been to our house? No, I see. I keep on inviting you, but you never want to come. Because you never gave me the address. I gave you the address. No, you did. <laughs> <laughs> come by any time, Dennis. Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah. man! I've only been there like a year. Well, I'll drive, I'll drive around Brantford till I find it. When was the last time you were in Brantford? I can't tell you. You get mad at me. <laughs> we're on uh, we're on Elgin. You know where the cop station is? Yeah. Okay. If you take the cop station all the way up, just before you hit Garden Ave, yeah, we're on the right hand side. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't miss it. That's where I kind of thought you were. Just knock on my door. Laundry room here. What are your thoughts on laundry room on the main floor? Because this always freaks me out. Because if it leaks, you're screwed. Yeah, but there's other ways around it too. Like, I don't think there's a drain underneath. No, but what they could have done, they could again. When was the last time you had a washing machine leak? Yeah, that's but true. you can buy cans that go underneath them if you want, and then have a drain for them. Like I understand this is ideal now, and this is standard for all new builds. 
Like even but, my even my place, my my washer and dryer is right on the main floor. But then it's just it's a bungalow, right? True. I don't know. Just, Not I guess I'm just old school that way. I. <laughs> I'm always thinking of what could possibly go wrong. Well, the problem the is that now if you got in the basement, how often are you going to go down and put the laundry in? Like, then you got to love everything. Oh, this is the thing, right? I do everything else around the house except for laundry, so that's not my problem. <laughs> See, I'll do the laundry. I'll just grab everything and I'll just throw it in the machine. And then play. Well, that's the reason why the people I got my house, uh -huh. the people who were going to buy my house wanted to move in on a Friday, and the people didn't want to move out till Monday. They said they, they couldn't move, or sorry, they couldn't move out till Tuesday because they're, they're flighting these Superstitious, Tuesday. right? So they said, no, I can't move in on that thing. So they, they, they turned down the off of the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, this doesn't quite make any sense because the garage is here. Yeah. Are they going to rebuild this? Well, this is all going to be taken out. Why? This is so beautiful. <laughs> That's what they do. That house there, uh huh. it'll be gone. They had a house, where was it? Right where that pickup truck came out in that area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a house there, model home. Uh-huh. They leveled it. They so you mean to say, once this is sold, and it will be sold. These ones, they'll leave these ones here. Yes, honey, I'm coming. They're going to take these gates out, yeah, and, they'll put a road and then they'll put a road here and kill this beautiful yeah. circle yeah. thing here. Yeah. What a waste. It's, a, it's, it's, all for, it's all for people to see what they want, but once it's all said, and, they'll leave it for a while. Like, it's not going to yeah. It's not going to be like tomorrow to be done, but... Because, uh, yeah, garage... <laughs> How are you going to bring your car when the garage is here and there's a big gate there and a sitting area over there? <laughs> like I said, all that, all that will be gone. Yeah. You want to go inside? Let's go. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. I think it's identical, Dennis. No, stair see the st staircase, staircase is on the other outside. side. <laughs> Just because we the other door. Yeah. <laughs> I you think know, this, see, this this is more open than the other one. But then yeah. the reason why is because then you lose out on a bedroom here. This is three bedrooms also, isn't it? I don't know. One of the three or four. Okay, let's go check out the well, upstairs. The other, one, the other one was a four, right? Was it a four? One, two. Yeah, I think it, it was a four. So you lose a bedroom because yeah. of the 20 foot ceilings. Yeah, you lose a bedroom here. They could have put a bedroom in here, but they, people want the open pasta. Yeah, so let's go check it out. But I think this is a little bit more premium than the first one. That's the only problem right there is when you, like you got a window there, it's nice, but how do you clean it? Uh, <laughs> scaffolding. <laughs> yeah, for paint. Well, yeah, this is the This is more premium than the other one. Yeah, a lot bigger than the other Yeah, I know, come on. But again, there are some homes where they have the, they, they close it right up to the other side. Yeah. And you got no open. Pull, pull it up there, open. Daddy, daddy. Fine, fine, fine. This is a good size room, guys. Easily would fit a queen or a king bed. No problem. That's the stairs. I mean, sorry, hallway. This is the bathroom. Believe it or not, it reminds me of an IKEA bathroom, but it's beautiful. So, this compared to the first house next door. This seems to be a little bit more premium, but I believe there's one less bedroom. This is the laundry area. Even the laundry area here is much nicer, Dennis. Yeah. So this is the laundry area. Closet. Not bad. <laughs> this is Leia's room? I like your new bed. Isn't it so nice? Oh, Daddy's going to buy this for you. So you can move out of his house. <laughs> <laughs> you can move in here with your sisters. That's it. So then it's... Pro oh, you want a shirt, Leia? It'll fit you. <laughs> you want a sweater? Cool. <laughs> now this is great. It's nice. It's nice to be done. But you know the problem with these? Your neighbor is like right there. Well, they need, they need a window there so you can see them and wave hi. Remember how they used to have it? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
kid shows you can talk to your neighbor now? Well, actually, we were there. That's their hallway. I mean, that's their stairwell. Yeah. So you can't really say hi to them. That's too high. <laughs> but, yeah, they're too close to each other. Yeah, but that's the way these homes are now. So that's bedroom number two. It's four bedrooms. Oh, it is. It's four bedrooms, yeah. This is the master. Oh, the ma This is so much nicer than the other place. Walk-in closet yeah. is much bigger. And there's glasses. Yeah. And look, it's hers and hers. His closet. and hers, yeah. No, it's hers and hers. Oh, that's right. It's hers I and wonder, hers. When did you ever see a man get his own closet? <laughs> no, dude. I, I have like a like a cabinet. That's all I get. <laughs> I got a little spot for my shirts and my pants, and I'm good. That's it. So this is the master. It's a very good size. Is in her walk-in closet. Wait, wait, honey. <laughs> Do you like this bedroom, or the other one with the bunk beds? Ah, uh, <laughs> smart girl. <laughs> oh, double think. So I wonder what the premium is on this one compared to the other one, because this is way nicer. Double sink. And, and you know, it's granite. Nice because of the, the, the opening coming in. Yeah. So that other one had four. The, the other one had four also. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can have a bubble bath here. But see, that's Look another thing too you gotta watch too. What's that? Anything over four, you have to pay more taxes on it, too. Well, everything is more taxes, Dennis. Well, I know, but... You can't, you can't that, avoid that. I know, but that's what they get. They also class on the home and how many ba how many bedrooms there are. Yeah, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. Yeah, you put another bedroom, you got to pay more on taxes. Yeah, because you're serviced by the city more. Yeah, yeah. So well, you're not, but you... It, it's like taking... Oh, this sorry, same, we'll be out of here. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Take your time. Go ahead. Go ahead. This same square area. Yeah. You just close up the room more, you add another bedroom, you're still paying taxes, but you're still in the same amount of square area. That's true. That's true. They just, it's just because that extra number. Well, typically here in Caledonia, what are taxes like on a, on a house like this? 4000 5000 I think mine's three and a half. Three and a half? I'm paying... <laughs> Accent wall. I think I'm paying five, five fifty a month. Five fifty a month, that's like six grand a year, guys. Over but six grand a year. I think there's one month or two months I don't pay for. You pay every month. No, no, I think it was at Bradford they did that. The government won't allow you to skip two months yeah, worth in taxes. Wasn't there, uh, Any maybe it was four. Look, if you're paying five fifty a month, oh, that's fifty five hundred dollars for ten months. Now I get a check. Plus another uh eleven hundred. Fifty-five, sixty, sixty-six hundred. That's Where how much you're are you? Not you make me want to look because I can't remember what I paid. You're paying sixty-six hundred, Dennis. If it's five fifty a month. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so which bedroom is your favorite, Leah? Sorry. Which is your favorite? Tell Daddy to buy this for you. Yeah, she'll get it for you. No, four eighty. Four eighty. Four four twenty seven. So four twenty seven. That's four hundred four thousand. Four thousand five hundred bucks. There you go. But believe it or not, I I know it's a waste of space, but I like this. Oh, I like it too. I'm just saying it. I mean, if you close it, you have that. You have an extra bedroom, bedroom yeah. Right. To here. Oh, that would be bedroom number five, man. Or you can still stay in the four, but you just have you think this one your your uh, main main bedroom with with the okay. Oh, this is much nicer. This would be uh, the is that the bathroom? No, basement. This is the basement. There's gotta be a bathroom here somewhere. Closet. Yeah, nobody's used the garage. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? No, I like this much better than the first one. Kitchen is very nice. Now, if you got a higher ceiling, you can put a lift and put your cars inside. Oh man. 
Yeah, this is a lot better. My, uh, oh, not my cousin, but Susan's cousin, mm -hmm. just moved into this brand new condominium complex in Mississauga. I gotta show you the garage, man. It's beautiful. You know what it is, Dennis? So, he's got a lift yeah. that raises from the ground. So the one car is underground. Oh, okay. And then if you want to use the, the car under the ground, he presses a button and then it lifts up. And then he can pull out the one car from underneath, but there's one car on top. It's crazy. It's crazy. Just to save space, right? Yeah. So I asked him, what if uh, the garage flooded? Because <laughs> I, I looked at the, the, the compartment yeah. underneath the lift where the second car goes down into. Yeah. There's no drain. Oh, <laughs> If you have the space up top, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have space up top? I do. Ooh. I do. You know those Ben packs? Yeah. They're about like three grand. You just gotta install it. <laughs> yeah, I even thought about. They even got lifts for the motorcycle. You put it up against the wall and lift the motorcycle up. Hey Dennis, this is one and a half, yeah? This is a one and a half or a two? Well, you, you know our government doesn't don't want us to have uh, cars anymore either, right? So. They want to go EV, right? Yeah. The basement does the same thing. It goes down and then... And it twists to the other side, yes. I like the fact that you go straight down into your basement. Like, why wouldn't they have a situation where the staircase went that way? I agree. If you're gonna go bend that around. I have an even better solution. Why a basement? Give me a walkout. <laughs> well, you could again if you have right? a great house, you could have a walkout. That's right. Right, buddy. Okay, gonna go look at number four. One more, number four. Number so four so far, this three? is my favorite. Yeah, this one is. This is my favorite so far. Let's see if we can find another bunk bed for you, Lay, on the other one. Oh, but you know what? Look at all the weeds in the driveway. <laughs> it's all siding. I don't like the exterior. Give me a little bit of brick. Okay, mga atit, mga kuya, this one is the third house. It's called the Honeysuckle. It's by far the biggest out of the three. It's going to be listed for, or it's already listed for, $1.1 million. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, I think there's a door there is on that side. There's got to be. There's no door inside going to the garage. This is one of those ones you don't have to go to the garage. So how do you get to the garage? I don't. Sir, what's the list price for this? Uh, list price is, it's a honeysuckle, so it's not here. It's not listed there? No, no. Uh, it's probably one one. One one? Yeah. Uh, so the honeysuckle is not, this model is not here. Yeah. The similar one, the raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. The side is really good. Yeah. But can they open? Yeah. Hey, Dennis. It's 1.1 million. There's another door. There's another door? Okay. Where is it? I think that's See, the one that goes to the garage. No, they're roughed in for bathroom there. This one. Big basement. Why don't you wait a minute? Oh, I think that would be the bathroom. Well, that might be just for Or kitchen. they're going to build it to become a bathroom. Because that's the bathroom there. 
The rough temps are about from there. So 1.1 million in the basement isn't done. But then it's brand new. Yeah. Would you consider this for 1.1 million? No? Wait, if this is something for 1.1, I could sell mine for 1.5. And then move here for 1.1? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's okay. They'll be with their hair. Huge basement. Again, I don't know. Like, unless you're planning on putting a kitchen or something there. Oh, well, I mean, they all come with rough ends, right? Yeah, I would just like I would imagine if the if the price point on this is one point one million, whoever ends up buying it later on would probably want to get this done. Yeah, like and that's... it's good to have all the piping and all of the. It's just kind of. It's nice open, but again, it's this kind of throws you off. Like you like to have it all open, but you get all these. Knowing you, Dennis, you can knock this off in like a week. <laughs> a week and a half. <laughs> it's a lot better though. But then again, even something like this, if you don't need that support there, open it up. Have a nice spiral staircase going down. Yeah, yeah. But open I would up. get rid of the door. Okay, good work on man. Yeah, there's no access to the garage. I think they forgot to put a door. Maybe it was for the picture. But you know what though? The layout of the main floor, I I like it. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Again, I know what they, they put these here to support the upstairs, I get it, but it's well, nobody uses dining rooms anymore. No. Dining rooms are a thing of the past. You know, at my mom's house, Yeah. I've lived there Never since I was... No, I, I think I sat in the, the formal dining room like twice my whole life. <laughs> Sorry. You did. I scared the other one. I like houses with the sitting room on the, main, on the second floor. A, but, uh, a friend of mine out in Aurelia, uh -huh. their place, they have a huge sitting room upstairs. It's awesome. Nice. Because you know, like in the middle of the night when she's fast asleep, yeah. And I want to turn on the TV, and I can't. It bothers me. See, my my wife's totally different. I can't leave the bedroom and go watch TV. <laughs> so something like this would be amazing. I have to turn the TV on with with her there. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is great. So that's the view of your next door neighbor in this one point one million dollar yeah, house. And all your neighbors, by the way. Very nice. <clears throat> Hallway. Leia, which one's your favorite room? Go look for a bunk bed. What's wrong? See this? It's supposed to stop. Oh, somebody, uh... <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those. I think uh, but they got access to the bathroom in here. I think whoever built that door built it on a Friday and he had to go somewhere real quick. <laughs> Cause that's not supposed to happen. See it was a little lower, it's hit the top here. But see look, it's already got an indent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this door was built on a Friday on a long weekend. It's Very nice room though. I'm surprised you have two doors. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom. But if that's the case, you you would have. I've seen a house where they actually had a bedroom, bedroom, and then they had yeah, access. Yeah, and, and the access. Yeah, but this one. Okay, where's the door? It's behind that door. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Look at that. Jack and Jill. Oh, here's the Jack and Jill one. So basically. This is sort of like an ensuite. Yeah, Jack and Jill in here. Okay, let's go check that, that out. It might be. So this is Jack and Jill with a hallway and the one bedroom. Oh, another door. Oh, this is the real Jack and Jill. Yes. Yeah. Okay. See, I, I've seen Jack and Jills where they had the the bathroom, another door going into to the uh, shower. Okay. So it was separate from. So you can go to the toilet and still send the take a shower. That's different. Jack and Jill bathroom, that two bedroom yeah, share. What kind of monster truck is it? I put it back where it was. 
Okay. Because it's a laundry room. So, is it worth 1.1 mil, Dennis? But it looks all the same. It's all consistent. I expect there's more room. Accent wall. Leah, did you see a bunk bed? No bunk bed? Laundry room. This is where we do laundry. Dennis, did you build a laundry area at your house? In your house? Mine's already, mine's already got one. Like a like a designated laundry yep. area? Yep. Okay. Master bedroom. Mm-hmm. Wash off then. Well you paint. Oh the bathroom here is nice. I like the bathroom here. Oh. It's very spacious. Is it locked, Leia? No. No? Yeah, well, I just heard that it's not a good idea. Well, my mine's on the main floor, and my, one of my hosts was the first to walk in the bathroom. Off the furniture, so it did leak a little bit downstairs, but it didn't hurt anything. Yeah. I like this bathroom. I do. Yeah, this is nicer. This is a nice, yeah. nice space for a bathroom. Very spacious. But that's the thing too. Is some places that you got big, big bathroom, but you got small bedrooms. I mean, even the bedroom here is a very good size. This one is yes. Yeah. I want one of these. <laughs> I want one of those. I like that mirror. I like the different layout here coming up. This is my favorite. Right here. This is nice. This is my so favorite. this is what? Three bedrooms? One, two, four. four. Four bedrooms and this. So technically, they could have made this a they five. They could have made another bedroom, yeah. They could have made a, yeah. I want to go back. So you can still probably put a door here. So, $1.1 million house, you forgot to put a garage door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see no garage door that goes how, into the How are we supposed to go check our Porsche out? Oh, you're supposed to go outside and press a button. <laughs> Actually, is there, I didn't even look. Is there a side garage door? Because I think you're supposed to have an access. No, I don't think there's any room, Dennis. $1.1 million. $900,000. $900,000. Which one out of these three do you guys want? I just wanted to show you guys what Caledonia, Ontario looks like and why people are coming here from the greater Toronto area to buy houses dahil medyo mas mura nga. So this, at least, I hope, will give you an idea what $1 million will get you as far as a house is concerned. So join me in the next video, guys. This is Kuya Puto Mendoza in Canada wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble, keep your hustle strong. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye for now. Sa akin Kung sino ang aking mahal Kita no